Hi, my name is Matthew Pekovic of MattsMovieReviews.net and this is my review of Tank. Wow, I could get used to a view like this. Yep, guys, I want a castle. I'm a guy with some simple dreams. Are you guarding this? Yeah. Huh? Aha! But on this day, I was just looking for a place to escape. <laughs> then it hit me. In this tower lived a girl who'd been there a very long time. I'm prepared to offer you a deal. Deal? Look this way. I want to see the world, and not just from my window. First, I said, no can do. Then I said, let down your help. I can't believe I did this. Yay! Who's that? They don't like me. Let's just assume for the moment that everyone in here doesn't like me. Vibrant, funny, and no oh so sweet. Tangled is rousing family entertainment which belongs in the top tier of Disney's illustrious pantheon of animated classics. Based on the Brothers Grimm fairy tale, Rapunzel. Tangled is surprisingly the first feature film adaptation to be based on that fairy tale, with several small screen adaptations preceding it. What isn't a surprise is Disney's restructure of the Grim Tale to fit their own credo. Featured are cute animals doing funny things, characters that all sudden burst in a song, and shameless subliminal advertising for upcoming toys and video games, sure to be sold at a Disney retailer near you. Yet despite, or mainly because of the mechanics of the Disney mo model, Tangle grows, uh, glows proudly amongst their best work, thanks to fleshed out characters worth giving a damn about, wondrous fantasy elements, and a tapestry of colour and volume which is just simply astonishing. Mandy Moore stars as Rapunzel, uh, a princess with magical qualities and an impossible stream of golden locks. She is abducted at a young age and kept in the high tower by an evil, and I mean evil with a capital E, godmother named Marvel Gothel, um, voiced here with a theory wickedness by Donna Murphy. Now wanting out, Rapunzel convinces a cocky thief with a suspect porno name, Flynn Rider, here voiced by Zachary Levy, to break her out of a prison and guide her on a journey to a magical kingdom, where for the last 18 years she has wandered at in its majesty. Oh, there it is. The snuggly duckling. Don't worry, very quaint place. Perfect for you. Don't want you scaring and giving up on this whole endeavor now, do we? Well, I do like duckling. Yay! Gotham, your finest table, please. <laughs> you smell that? Take a deep breath through the nose. Really let that seep in. What are you getting? Because to me, it's part man smell, and the other part is really bad man smell. I don't know why, but overall, it just smells like the color brown. Your thoughts? That's a lot. Of now, what follows is that ever reliable fantasy stable of the journey, um, seen in everything from Wizard of Oz to Finding Nemo. And just like those classics, Tangled meshes fine character dynamic with fun set pieces. Leading the charge is a great voice work of Moore and Levy, who trade jibes, song and sweet nothings to make for a dynamic and heartfelt duo. Surrounding those two are a levy of great supporting characters. You have a dogged rambunctious horse who winds up stealing every scene, um, a bar full of thugs and murderers who provide a rousing showstopper of a tune, and a conniving wicked mother Gothel who perhaps the most memorable animated villain to scare the kitties in quite a while. The animation is incredible in its detail and its vibrancy, and with every strain of Rapunzel's hair and every blade of grass, it's brimming with volume. It is the writing which makes Tangled such a fun watch. Uh, screenwriter Dan Fogelman, not content with relying on character or pop culture risk to bolster the film's, the film's humour. Uh, through the direction of bulk collaborators Nathan Greno and Byron H Howard, a Tangled becomes a genuinely surprising and heartfelt mesh of old conventions and new directions, which does not fail in eliciting an emotional um, reactions of laughter, wonder, and even sadness from its more adult viewers. You, when you combine Tangled with uh, 2007's Enchanted and then last year's Princess and the Frog, you will find a modern day princess trilogy that evokes the majesty of Disney's past and provides faith in the direction of its future. My name is Matthew Pekerick or MattsMovieReviews.net. 
that was my review of Tangled. If you want to read more reviews, interviews, commentary, or top 10, please visit www.mattsmoviereviews.net. Thanks.